In the last movie, we looked at how to create scatter plots for two quantitative variables, or scale variables in SPSS. Now, scatter plots are extremely useful for exploring your data, and they're also extremely flexible. One variation on the scatter plot, though, deserves special mention the time series scatter plot or time plot. As you might guess, the major difference in this case is that the variable that goes across the bottom on the x-axis is some measure of time. Another difference is that time plots often have only one measurement for each time period, whereas scatter plots can have, for example, lots of people who are all at the same point on the x-axis. Because all time plots usually have only one observation at each point in time, you can also connect the points, which makes it more like a line chart. And here's how it works in SPSS. For this example, I'm going to be using a data set that's called ndaq.sav. And what this is, is the price for shares in the NASDAQ exchange itself from 2002 through 2011. It only has two variables. It has the first market day of each month, and it has the closing price on that day for each month. Let's go up to graphs, and then to chart builder, and then down to scatter, and choose the simple scatter, the top left one, and drag it into the canvas. The date will go on the bottom, and the closing price for the NASDAQ stocks will go on the left. And that's all we need to do right here. I'm just gonna click OK, and what you see is a lot of dots. Now, you can see the pattern. It starts relatively low in 04 and 05, shoots way up high in 06 and 08, comes back down to earth in 2010, and then starts to go back up again. But there's a way to make this chart much clearer. We just need to edit it and do a few different things. So to edit it, like every other chart, first we double click on it to open up the editing window. And for this one, what we want to do is we want to click on a button in the menu bar here that's called Add Interpolation Line. And what this does is it draws a line that connects every dot across the bottom. This is the standard line plot you would expect over time. Now, if we stop right there, it's not bad. However, at this point, the dots actually get in the way. And so what we can do is we can click carefully on the dots. So they're all selected and just hit delete. And we're left with a line plot that shows the pattern more clearly than the dots themselves of things starting slowly, skyrocketing and then coming back down at the end of the dot-com bubble. And that is a special case where the predictor variable is time, and you can adapt the standard scatter plot to show how a variable changes, in which case it's now called a time series scatter plot or time plot. This is a good example of how SPSS helps you customize your charts to make them easier to read and more useful in interpretation. Up to this point, We've looked at charts of the association of two categorical variables, or two scale variables. In the next few movies, we'll look at the combination of the two kinds, charts that show the association of one categorical variable and one scale variable.